Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We're going to head south out of Pacifica, back out into the Badlands now, because uh, we've got a few odd jobs that we need to pick up for Dakota. Um, plus, it gives us a good chance to uh, to pick up this wee beastie that we picked up in the missing persons video last time around. Let me see. It was uh, was it a Mizutani Shion that we picked up? No, it wasn't. Was it? It was a turbo. Here we go. A turbo. Type 66 Javelina. There it is, the shiny golden wee beastie. Come here, my dear. Let's get a proper look at you. He says as it zooms into the shadows. Um, yeah, very nice little beastie, this one. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head south. Back out to pretty much the area that we covered last time, actually. Uh, when we were in that video. Let's, uh... Hmm, we seem to have a little bit of a problem with routing. When we first select these things, hold on. One more time. Come on, you can do it. Oh, do you know what? Fine, we'll just go with custom market. Right, okay, so last time out, we picked up this little beastie, and then we uh, we finally followed the last elements of that breadcrumb trail that led us to Swedenborg Riviera. Or didn't, as it actually panned out, because <laughs> Swedenborg Riviera isn't actually a thing. Swedenborg Riviera was actually just the um, the machination of some... Hello, who was that? Whoa, easy. Who have we got on the floor here? Hold on. We've got a dead body. Why have we got a dead body just randomly on the floor? Hello? Uh, oh, it's a dead animal. Did I... Hold on. Sorry, did I put you there way back when? Or was this someone else is doing? Who's over here? Oh, scavengers. Hold on, they are scavs, aren't they? They certainly look like scavs. No, Max Duncan, no affiliation. Oh, okay, that's just as well because I had actually just had the idea of reversing my car over them, so I'm glad I identified them as just regular civvies. Bizarrely out in the sunshine with VI headsets on, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we, uh, where was I? I'm sure I was saying a thing, but I don't know what thing I was saying. Hmm, probably wasn't important. <laughs> Let's head out here back into the Biotechnica flats. Uh, taking the tradesman's entrance. This is where we came through and found that um, that little collection of uh, collection of um, fertility experiment ladies, wouldn't it? What terrible fate had befallen them? Let's be careful so we don't desecrate the corpses. Oh, oh, interesting. They've been scooped up and ferried away. Right. I, I'm not sure whether I'm pleased at that or slightly disturbed, but um, yeah. Anywho. Dakota's got our final few little uh, side gigs out here in the Badlands, and then we've, we've pretty much cleaned up shop. Early up. Bah! Oh, nice day for a quick fly in the sky. Oh, God. Oh, it just goes on, doesn't it? Okay, we're taking exit left here by the looks of things. This is quite a throaty beast, this one. Kind of similar to uh, to Jackie's arch, actually. It's um, got a hell of a roar to it. So maybe I'm not sure if we're going to have time to squeeze all of Dakota's side gigs in. Uh, oh, hello, roadblock ahead. Um, oh crap! Can we even get through this way? Oh, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Close enough. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to have time to flatten all of Dakota's side jobs before we uh, before we head off, because I do want to meet up with Mr. Eurodyne and make sure that his um, his little plan... Let's just clear this out. Hold on. Yeah, almost. His plan to uh, go and have a quiet word with the ladies of Uscrax. I want to make sure that doesn't go completely awry. Oh, hold on. Right, what have we here? We've got... Couple of gonks in there by the looks of it, but the objective seems to be pointing to a vehicle in a garage. Let's see what Dakota's got to say. Hey, I need your help. I've lost contact with Benedict McAdams and the driver who was supposed to get him out of town. Head to the coordinates I gave you. See what you can find. More details attached. Benedict McAdams. Okay. Let's see what we got, Dakota. Is that Benedict? Find Benedict McAdams, Clement Street. A fixer's worth no more and no less than their last promise. And I promised Benedict McAdams I'd get him out of town once he checked off a job for me. Oh, so he's... What, he's a solo? Benedict's one devil of a pro. Just six hours in of taking the job and Councilman McLean's heart beat for the last time. Oh, wow. 
That fat fish I'd had dangling on my line too long. The risk of a slip-up was high, so before he set to it, Benedict installed a GPS in his Biomon so I could have an eye on the, uh, in the sky on him, as it were. This slickster didn't work alone, mind you. Had a driver, Jason Wild... Wild driver? Wild river? The problem is, instead of hauling quick across the border, Jason went off route. Something here stinks worse than McLean's fishy corpse. Find them and bring me Benedict. I'll find him a new driver. Okay, so... She used Benedict to take care of this Councilman McLean, but then the people that he... Am I reading this right? Um, didn't work alone. Wild River. Problem is, instead of hoarding quick. Right, so they think that Wild River may have... Um, yeah, Jason Wild River may have screwed over Benedict. So, uh, is this our number one suspect? Jason Wild River. There he is. Oh, he's an Alder Caldo. All right. Well, that makes things a bit more interesting. I'm sure there was somebody else over here as well. No. Nope. Not somebody else, just something else. Okay, security turret. Wonderful. Oh, but looky here. That loader in there has an access point by the looks of things. That's mighty handy. Can I, can I get in there? Hmm, this is the challenge. Yeah, I want to get to that loader. Preferably without rousing the, uh, the attention of that turret. Whoa, something's blippity blipping. Okay, okay. What's blippity blipping? Oh, is it his phone? So, did you think it over? Well, of course, if you can't fit it in your budget. Too scary a sum for all those lightweight at Militech, I suppose. Hmm. Nah, not good. Better get going. Hear his skull calling for a bullet. Don't get in there. No, not worth keeping up here. Let's cloak. What? Shimmy our way yeah, into I'm here. Sure. See if we can access. Tell him either he pays my due, or I scratch McAdams off the map for good. Oh, McAdams is still alive. This isn't a negotiation. You buy him, or you don't. Ha, huh, okay. Right, let's jack in. See if we can't get control of uh, that turret over there. Assuming their network. Whoa, bloody hell. Um, let's just go for uh, data mine. So E9, 1C. Uh, can we go for another E9? No. Can we go for an FF7A? Yes, we can. Can that lead us to a 557A? Uh, I really rather believe that it can. Right, we'll call it quits there. I could have landed mass vulnerability, I suppose, but oh well. Main thing is to try and see if we can't ally that turret over there. Well, not so much ally, as just disable. There we go. Right, let's turn you off. That gives us free reign out here. Assuming there's no explosives, which I don't think there are. Hmm, he's facing this way. That's rather inconvenient. Let's just hightail it back around the corner. Oh, we didn't pick up the... <laughs> there was a pickup in there. I should have got that. And then maybe... Oh. Cover to cover. Oh, there's no more defences around here, is there? I don't think there is. Oh. Easy. Okay. Let's see. Can we run distract on this, maybe? Yes, we can. Oh, but it's not going to affect him. Oh, rubbish. Wait for him to get a bit closer, maybe? There we go. That's our in. Did you have brake hold? Nope. Uh, you're... Okay. Apparently something's distracted him from the distraction. Fine. Whatever. Now, benefit of the doubt and all, you are an Alder Caldo. And you've got a rather lovely bike. Let's see if we can't actually take you down non-lethally. <laughs> Hello down there. This could go very, very wrong. Might have to change my uh, my loadout if this goes alright. No, we're good. There we go. Sleep a gentle slumber. Oh, goodness me, we've leveled up again. Level 55. Well, 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 I think. Let's just check our uh, attribute screen. <laughs> that gives us our two attribute points that we need for our final level of crafting. We'll address that in just a moment. We've got a copperhead here, some ramen, and an archive conversation between Jason Wild River and Yikme Dorji, maybe? 
Heard you're looking for Ben McCabum as well. You're in luck. Got him right here and he isn't going anywhere. Could be yours for the right price. How much? I want five times more than the lead head from last year. Final offer. I'll relay it to my superior authorized to make these kinds of decisions. Ooh, interesting. That sounds like a very corpo speak. Uh, he did mention Militech on the line. We'll be in touch. Right, fucking Militech always calls the shots, don't they? We certainly don't let the shots call themselves. <laughs> Touche, I like that. All right. Uh, quick. Ooh, let's go and grab that uh, that piece of kit before I forget about it again. Ooh, upgrade components as well. Very nice. Anything around here I should be made aware of? Ooh, mines. Interesting. So you did have further defenses. This guy was paranoid. Uh, okay, apparently I missed one. <laughs> Hold on, arm. Where was that one? I think that was probably on the other side of the fence there, but I walked a bit too close. Disarm. There we go. Any more, any more. I think that's it. He only covered the back side by the looks of it. Right, let's uh, let's head on in then. So is McAdams in this thing? Oh, I'm scared to look in the trunk. Uh, no. <laughs> Seems that's the edge of your probably just as well. Uh, here, maybe? Nope, that's empty. Right, that's a good thing, I guess. Well... It sounded very much from that conversation as though the guy is still alive. I should, should be checking for uh, booby traps, I guess, shouldn't I? Ooh, hello. That's a likely location. Hello? Is there anybody here? Should I expect resistance? Seems, uh, seems all quiet. Looks like this probably leads back out. Yes, it does. Let's get rid of that custom marker because it's... Oh. That was strange. I couldn't press start. Uh... Okay, we've got some things to look at here. Hello. Reward, Benedict McAdams. Name, Benedict McAdams, delivered dead or alive, alive, class A. Okay, that was a scintillating read. Take a look at what we got here. Assorted junk. Nothing of interest there. Nothing of interest there. Okay, let's have a little look on the computer. Uh, right, that's... Oh, basement camera. Hello. Have a little look. Aha! There's our boy, Benedict McAdams. Okay, I'm guessing that that is the... Uh, that's the door at the bottom of the stairs. All right, then. Let's get you turned off. Nothing more there. And then we've got a shard access token. All right, we'll take that. That should unlock this door, I would guess. Indeed it does. Okay. Uh, it's also booby traps. Hi, McAdams. Oh, a new face. See, Militech's been investing in young talent. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. So, you here to take me on a little field trip? Uh, something like that. Um, a field trip to freedom! Um, yeah, why didn't Militech want to snatch you up? why did Militech want to buy you off of Jason? Oh, why? What? Okay. You missed the memo? That NCC crook, McLean. Militech bought him off. Drafted bills he passed without a blink. I took the bastard out. Now they're desperate to find a fall guy. Hmm. Don't want the NCPD looking too close into the matter. As upstanding citizens would do. Mm -hmm. Militech's gladly gonna pin me for a heap other things. Since I'm already here. I can only surmise I'll be so desperate as to end up taking my own life, as they say. Yeah, Sorry convenient. to hear that. I'm here on Dakota's behalf. For Christ's sakes, now you're telling me? <laughs> I loathe it, this whole playing tough in the face of death thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you did all right. Handled yourself well. Should have seen how that fool Jason gobbled it up. Even started holstering in the small of the back like me. <laughs> all right, let's get you out of here. <sighs> Shit. I feel like I haven't used my legs for a straight month. Um, what I mean, you weren't chained to the floor or anything. You could have at least paced up and down for a bit. What's that? 
What is that marker on? Oh, the yeah, the green marker is him, isn't it? Uh, no, no, by all means, carry on. Was this yours, by the way? I feel a little exposed here. I'm kind of expecting a, a Militech AV to come swooping in any second now or something. Oh, I've got to take him to a meeting point. Okay, that makes sense. Follow me. I know the way. You know what I miss most in that basement? Booze? Cigs? Melons. <laughs> Those sweet honey melons Dakota folks got growing on genetic mishmash. Miles above any sin melons you could find. Okay. I sat there thinking what I wouldn't give one taste of that sweet, sweet melon. <laughs> of course, that prick Jason wouldn't entertain the thought. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, and uh, no, unfortunately, uh, I'm afraid I haven't been able to uh, yet sample Dakota's juicy melons. Maybe one day. Right, let's get the hell out of here. By the way, I, I left your uh, your kidnapper uh, breathing. Hope you don't mind. Maybe one day you'll uh, you'll get a little rendezvous and get to enact your own revenge. All right, so. This is just letting us breeze out of Biotechnica's property. I feel like this is too easy. There's something amiss here. Where's this taking us? Over here? We could go cross country, but I don't know if this guy's spine would be up to it. Seeing as we're, uh, we're usually not the most gentle of cross country travelers. Keep moving. Oh god, we're stuck behind traffic. It's better. I've got a feeling we're gonna have to go cross country at some point anyway. Oh no, this is taking a hard left. Hello! Right, would you bear with me just for a second? I've got some business to take care of. Hello, boys! Get you. I get you. Right. Uh, no, no, stay there. Stay in the car, please, if you don't mind. Hi. Hello there. Fuck. No, maybe but later. <laughs> I'll blow you to pieces! Well, your mate might actually take care of that. Protect your implants! <laughs> Focus! There we are. Yep, that, that works to my liking. Hello, who are you? <laughs> can, can I help you? Where have you... <laughs> You're an Altocaldo. Get up and walk away. I'm not going to attack you. <laughs> uh, right, terribly sorry about that. We'll get back to... Uh, we'll get back to the task at hand now. Uh, do follow. Um, you, you get up and run away. Oh, my God. Come on, then. In you go. There we go. Right, uh, sorry, where were we? Let's, uh, let's get you squared away and handed over to uh, Dakota's agent, shall we? Just here should do the trick, I think. Right, this is apparently the meeting point that's been set up. Oh, we just got to hold on here. Uh... How, oh, hold, hold on. How long is this going to take us? Because I've kind of got an appointment a little bit later this evening. Uh, wait. This is 2.45pm. Are you sure? Whoa, watch the car. Hey, McAdams, over here. Um, that looks painful. Starkey. It's been years. You look like shit. <laughs> I'm a bit indisposed. Looks like you'll have to be my chauffeur. A V, FYI. Dakota's sending over your payment. Nice. Nova, thanks. Have a good one. Did you drive here with no shoes on? In that thing? I mean, rather you than me. Um, yeah, you're a bit screwed now, aren't you? How are you going to get in the driver's seat? <laughs> Shall I move this for you? Let's take a look at... Oh, no, he's making his own way through the vehicles, of course. Got the intel on Bene uh, the Benedict safe. I hope this time the driver doesn't disappoint. Thanks, V. Uh, v, get closed. 
Let me let me move this thing. Hold on. Hold on. Let me back out. Well, that was quick. What the? Okay, they they kind of make their own their own rules on the road, don't they? These uh, these nomad types. <laughs> All right, nice. Another job well done. Uh, so, what's next? We must have something else nearby. Let's take a little bit of a check, actually. How many jobs have we got for Dakota One? Really? We've got what? Oh my god! Is this the last job? Hold on. Quick scan round. This is the last gig. Oh my gosh! We've blown through them all. Um, right. Let's let's get it done then. Oh wow. So this means that we've got what, potentially one more uh, one more fixer's gift waiting to be uh, sent our way once we finish this little job for Dakota. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do to busy ourselves for the rest of the day after this, but uh, I'm sure we'll find something to do. Right, past the airport. This is... Uh, this is a real drag strip, this, isn't it? Blimey. Well, a lovely day we're having. Um, <laughs> interestingly, I think that time skip... Oh, OK, we're here. <laughs> Slow. That time skip that we just did, I didn't actually notice the exact time before we started it, but I think it may have taken us something like 23 hours and 45 minutes uh, into uh, into the future. Quite why we didn't fit its uh, preferred time bracket. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Hey, Militech. New gig on the horizon. Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. Okay. It's no surprise, but he needs someone to do the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics attached. So we're after Bruce Welby. Let's take a little look. Uh, that's our Brucey boy, by the looks of things. Uh, at the coach, coach Whip Lane. Sometimes you need a friend to lean on. Sometimes you need a friend to break you out of an immigration detention centre at the Night City SoCal border. Smuggler Bruce Welby required the latter. Bruce tried to cross the state line with hot cargo in tow, but it didn't work out as planned, and now he's been chained up by Militech border security already several days. His buddy and Militech employee, Archibald Crane, found out about the situation through the grapevine. I'll be damned if that cuckoo corpo actually decided to help his friend instead of towing the corpo line. He contacted me to get Bruce out of his cage. You're the missing element in this friendship triangle. Find Bruce, break him out, and escort him to his chumbata, Archie. And let's make sure Militech doesn't notice a thing, okay? Woo, get to it. One more thing. Archie says not to kill any corpos. So, but what can I say? The client's always right. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so we've got our optional objective to not kill any Militech personnel. <sighs> Wonderful. Um, now, Dakota did say to not let Militech notice. However, it doesn't say that I can't raise the alarm. Not that I intend to, but, um... If worse comes to worse, we may, uh... We may end up raising a few eyebrows. Right, so we're going to have to think about this. We're going to have to adjust, first of all, our weapon loadout. Just to make sure we're not, uh... <laughs> oh yes, absolutely right. Let's get the baseball bat. Let's get uh, Tinkerbell in reserve. What's that that we've picked up? A cannabo. Okay, 973 DPS. I don't think that really compares to these, does it? Uh, oh, actually, tell you what. Yeah, we'll equip that in the third slot. That actually looks pretty decent. We've picked up some mods as well that we could potentially apply to uh, apply to our weapons here. Let's take a little look. What have we got? So, base damage 773 with 1.26 attacks per second. Um, crit chance, crit damage, bleeding chance. Let's uh, let's in fact let's take a look first of all at uh, Satori. Satori is fully loaded up. Crit damage, crit chance. Let's just double check that there's nothing else that's uh, that's better than that. We have got cold shoulder, kunai. Uh, anything that increases crit damage by more than 10% or crit chance by 2.5%. I don't think we're going to find anything. No, cool. Right, so 
We don't need to reserve any um, any uh, mods for Satori at the moment. So let's take a look at what we can throw into our gold-plated baseball bat. So cold shoulder increases damage by 5%. Attack speed by 0.3. That might be useful. Um, increases weapon attack speed. In fact, the 0.3 would take it to... Ooh, would we'll take it to more than one attack per second. Nice. That's tempting. Weapon attack speed, weapon attack speed. Increases crit damage by 10% and crit chance by 2%. We'll definitely throw the attack speed uh, multiplier in there. So 1.6... I was reading that the wrong way around. Okay, one and a half attacks per second. Beautiful. Which takes up to 1265 DPS. Yes. Um, cold shoulder increases damage by 5%. Okay, that added like another, what, 30, I don't know, another 38 damage on top of that. Uh, which would take that up to about 13, 1340 DPS when you adjust it, I guess. Let's give it a try. No. Always do that. Let's see how my maths is. Uh, oh, 1328. I wasn't far off. That's a pretty lethal baseball bat. <laughs> nice, I like it. Okay, so now that we have uh, our physical um, assaulty loadout and uh, the fact that Tinkerbell's DPS is much lower than this is kind of negated by the fact you can charge this thing up and unleash a hell of an attack, although we will throw some mods in that eventually, let's uh, supplement that with a few non-lethal quick hacks. So, Cyber Psychosis is out. Silence Burnout is out. And the rest... Detonate grenade, we won't take any chances. Suicide's definitely out. So let's throw in Contagion and Overheat. And we can maybe follow that up. Oh, I'll tell you what would be really handy, actually, is if we did... There we go, Reboot Optics. If we can throw a Reboot Optics daemon amongst the pigeons, that would be mighty handy. Um, Sonic Shock. Weapon Glitch. System Reset, of course. The ultimate non-lethal quick hack. Right. <sighs> Let's get stuck in then. So, I'm going to drop a quick save here. Just in case it all goes monumentally tits up. <laughs> Not that that's likely. Right. That's... No! Thank you kindly. Right. There's, <laughs> there's mines all the way along here, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. That was almost over very quickly. Can't actually reach the next one just yet. Let's, uh... Ooh. Ooh, we've got cameras. Right, let's, uh... Let's do this properly, shall we? Get you tagged. Wait, I can't... Oh, it's not letting me tag as, oh, because I'm behind this tarpaulin. Okay, well, we know that there's a camera right there. So going in through the front gate... Uh, and as well as the guard post. Going in through the front gate is obviously not a valid option. Let's get this... Mm, of course, we can't get the Wyvern down because we haven't breached their network just yet. Well, we can clear these mines regardless. Can I get a... No, I don't want to target that one. There we go. Right, we've at least disarmed those mines around that side. All right, let's get a decent scope of the place. We can tag you for sure. Hmm, there's a, an openable gate there by the looks of it. Whoa. What was that noise? I mean, there was that noise, but it sounded like... It sounded almost like gunfire inside the compound. I'm not sure I like that. Wait, who's spotting me now? He's got really, really long vision. What? What now? Who's there? I'm really confused. I'm getting lots of uh, sort of alerts and pings and things. Oh, okay. Definite gunfire. I'm hoping that that's some sort of uh, practice target range that's in there. And they're not, not unloading a hail of bullets into our guy. Done that one. And no, not you. You. Just on that one. What are we going to do about these wyverns? This is the problem. We don't have any network access as of yet. Ooh, there's something over here. Hello, I see a goon. Wait, hold on. What was that? Mine exp... Oh. oh, okay. Not who we're after. Right, technician guards tagged. Um... Hmm. Could really do with scoping out 
where there might be an access point. If I can just hop the barrier, tap an access point, and then get back out again, that will give us control over things like the wyverns. Well, not control, but the ability to uh, put them out of our misery. Ooh, hello. I can hear a camera on my left as well. Do you have brake holds up? You do not. Okay. Maybe we wait for the wyvern to take off in that direction again. I need to be careful because it could spot me from this distance. Once it's moving in the opposite direction, I think I might go and grab this guy, pull him into the compound somewhere, wherever uh, wherever looks clear, and choke him the heckety heck out. Oh, I thought it was moving away then. Must be an access point somewhere. Oh, there's a goon up there. Get you tagged. Right, that's good to know. So definitely don't step out into this clearing on the right and trying to take out the wyvern. Getting rather twitchy about that gunfire. Oh, our boy's moved into the compound. Okay. Fine, no matter. This wyvern's really starting to annoy me. It's right there and it's moving my way. Grr. It's about to round the corner. No, stay there, please. Right. Is that you now moving very away? I sincerely hope it is. He's past the gate entrance. Our spotter up there is looking this way. Crap. No, there we go. He's rested now. Oh, you're moving now, aren't you? Right, if we're quick. Whoa. It's fine. He's moving away. Spotter's looking the opposite direction. Right. Need to be careful here. Camera. I can hear a camera. I think it must be on the other side of that building. Whoa, no! <laughs> okay, there's a guard looking straight at us. Let's instead... No, gonna get spotted there as well. Oh no, he's moving away, cool. Crap, you're moving towards me. No, sir, don't like this. Gonna have to, uh, we're going to have to fall back on our cloak here, I think. Otherwise, this dude's going to spot me. Oh, no, we're good. Are we? Spot is still looking the opposite direction. This guy's good. still going to see if see us if we come out from around here, though. Gonna grab no, you. Don't do this. Non-lethal. So we don't end up killing the guy. And then let's check out. Right, we've got a bin there. So if we use you to access the network. Oh, okay. Uh, let's throw out a system reset, see uh, how far and wide we can cast that net. 1C55BDE9, that's nice and easy. Can we maybe, uh, can we maybe throw that into something else? That one can, no, that one can lead into an FF1C781C, nice. Okay, we apparently, uh, covered all bases there. Good. I see several crosses on my mini-map. Right, cameras. Oh, we've got a camera on that far end. Let's quickly throw you in there, get rid of that. What about our spotter? Is that... Wait, what? I just failed to don't kill any person at... How? <laughs> Did he bump his head on the way into the trash can or something? Rubbish. That counts as a kill? Oh, I'm... I'm really annoyed about that. That's not fair. <laughs> right, I'm going to do something naughty now. <laughs> right, stuff it. I've reloaded the game. Um, <laughs> I feel like I was kind of uh, done over a little bit there. That's, um, Please, that no. wasn't... No, don't keep your voice down. That wasn't very nice of the game to trick me like that because that was not a lethal takedown. Okay, let's try this again. So, uh, same plan, uh, 7A55BD7A, 7A55BD7A, that's nice and easy. 
BD, right, 7A. Where's best to uh, go here? Can we get a 1C, 7A? Yes, we can. And then a 1C. Nice. 1C, 7A. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I keep on uh, completing these code links before I even realize it. Right, now. That has not taken you down. That's not taking you down either. That makes me sad. Let's um, go for a reboot optics on you. No, let's just go straight for a system reset. Because um, you don't, I don't think you move any further out than that. That will leave us to uh, hop up there and take that goon. Hit the deck, please. Thank you kindly. Right. Let's play this cool. He should at some point move to the opposite end of uh, of that platform. I do realise, though, this leaves me mighty exposed, doesn't it? I don't think anybody else comes by this way, though. Move along, please. I suppose if I was super stealth-like, I could just sneak up behind him where he is now, but it's a little bit of a risk that I don't particularly want to take. Are you going to move or not? I should also... I should also be making sure there's no cameras up here, I guess. No. That's very... I'd say I'd want to be in your position. Sorry, come again. Whoa! What? Whoa, what? No! No! You dirty, dirty dog. Well, that's screwed that over, hasn't it? Oh! Well, that was powerful. Right, you? You're a sniper. You need to hit the deck, like, now. All right, let's move. Get the golden bat on. And you turn it off. Whoa. Taking pot shots, are you? Night, night, sweet prince. Hello. Oh, they got turrets as well. I just heard a turret. Crap. Sit. You know. Oh, man. Quick hack uploads in progress for you. Rubbish. And I can only ping you? What? Why? Target's under a... F oh, on Target under effect of a quick hack. Which one? Yeah. Oh, the... Um, right, got it. Yeah, the... Uh, optics reset. There's the turret. Sit your ass down, please. Please hurry up and succumb to that quick hack. So I can hack you again. Oh, of course. That's what it is. You've got to wait for that uh, that 10 or 15 seconds of... Um... Oh, I'm out of stamina. Whoa, no, thank you. No, thank you very much. Oh, I'm going to be taken down here. Hold on. No. What is that? Right. Um, <laughs> problem. Let's get you turned off. Get you turned off so you don't keep buzzing in my ear. Okay, we're good. We have stamina, we have health, we have the upper hand. You there. System reset, please. Don't fancy a sniper on my ass. No, don't you take that shot. Oh, hello. Will you go down? Oh my god. Really? Whoa. There we go. Oh, I need to heal. I need to heal. Here we go. Whoa, easy now. But right, I'll tell you what I could do with doing, whilst we can, is running a ping on this guy to try and get a bead on where the rest of his uh, rest of his tunes are. Oh, did that miss? Rubbish. Oh, I'm trying to get a full charge hit on him, but it's not happening. There we go. Right. Who else have we got? Uh, we got... Is that a turret? No, it's just waiting this camera. You. Turret is off. Oh, wait. Oh, and you. Is that all of them? I think it is. Nice. That'll do. Oh, well, that was almost a complete disaster. <laughs> almost. Enough you. Uh, that 
fine. Pick we are high on the Oh, we've, uh, okay. We've, we've failed the, um, don't kill anybody task as well at some point, apparently. <laughs> Probably because I've got a little bit too smash happy with, um, with this, uh, non-lethal weapon, but, oh, well, hello. Eh? Hello. Surprise! Sit. Sit. <laughs> right. Marvellous. Um, mostly non-lethal, I think. Ah, good enough. Slimy corpo scum anyway. Who really cares? Nobody's counting. Right. Let's uh, see what we actually can find here now, shall we? Uh, let's not go into the compound or into the building just yet. Uh, because that will probably necessitate us making a speedy escape with the guy so go around and do the usual um scavenging first Ooh, let's see what was in this uh this little guard post not an effective guard apparently oh what we have we here detainee management handbook uh oh this could be interesting a, a management handbook for uh, the treatment of prisoners Abridged version. Confirm the detainee's identity and check for active arrest warrants in the available international databases. If the detainee is found to have active warrants in the initial background check, contact the body re responsible for issuing the warrant. Two, complete a scan for any prohibited implants or software. Deactivate all combat, combat implants. Three, conduct a full medical examination. If any signs of illness are found, the detainee shall be put under quarantine with further action to be determined by medical personnel. Four, if the detainee displays any aggressive behavior or refuses to cooperate, use any and all permissible means of subduing the detainee, including direct use of force. Five, any issues not covered in the DMA should be discussed with the supervising officer responsible for investigating individual cases. Right, okay, that was actually a surprisingly, surprisingly level-headed manual for handling detainees. Very rare that the corpos actually stick to it. Authorization shards uh, from Captain Ian Cochrane to Sergeant Martin Figgs. Martha Irving, another reminder to leave authorization shards, shards in the correct place at the end of shifts. Please remind all company members that sh uh, should be considered an incorrect place. Kitchen counters, windowsills, bunks, shitters. If you have any questions about this very complex matter, please speak with me or contact command directly. Okay, list of detainees. Here we go. Oh, right. Well, that's triggered our information that we needed. Current detainees, uh, Charlotte Anderson, Daniela, whatever that is, Jeremy Kingston, Pedro Antonio Romero, Julieta Romero, Bruce Welby, and Arthur Williams. Detainees are being held in the main building until each case has been evaluated individually. Full scans of concealed cyberware and medical examinations have been carried out. No major threats were detected. Important first floor. Due to the dog shit technical condition at the front portion of the first floor, it will be out of commission indefinitely until the necessary repairs are made. Extreme caution is urged. Pass this along to your people. I wonder if that could have been a clue as to uh, a way in. Perhaps, um, perhaps uh, some walls have been taken down or something. Oh, well. <laughs> Discretion's at the window now, eh? Right. Let's go and uh, very quickly gather anything of interest. We'll quickly raid this, uh, this crow's nest up here. Hello, my dear. Sleeping soundly. Unlike some of your uh, your compatriots, which I unfortunately and quite mistakenly managed to eviscerate. Um, anything of interest in here? Must be something, surely. Surely must be something better than playing cards. Components, we'll take those. Okay. Oh, hello. Crafting spec for something or other. For resist, okay. Is resist the one that... Uh, Offers up immunity for, um, for basically all um, things that could affect you. Hello. Oh, there's our boy. Hiya. Right. Well, that's interesting. He sat right there. Did I? I don't think I looted this goon. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> did he get up and walk? Did he limp off? Somewhat confusing. See, that's the problem. If you leave... And this one, he took his buddy with him. 
If you leave them breathing, they eventually escape. No, we don't want an HMG. Thank you very much. Oh, the drip coffee maker. Caffeine, the ultimate terror of dr the drug scene of Night City. Um, there we go. And we'll just check in this little area. Let's see, what have we here? Oh, this is the back end of where I smacked that guy's face in. Hello. Hi. Um, you're a refugee as well. You're kind of... You're all kind of slightly free, so, you know, escape or, or some shit. I don't know. Wait, did I... I missed a grenade? <laughs> really don't need it, but it's there. I need to have it. Were you holding out on me? That's what you get. <laughs> we haven't got an objective to fail anymore, so <laughs> I'm not particularly bothered. Right, let's have a peek in here. Oh, this will take us upstairs anyway. I'd like to just quickly visit upstairs to see. Oh, we could have, uh, we could have had that as well. I'd like to quickly visit upstairs to see uh, exactly what that reference is about. Um, yeah, here we go. Already seen that personal access token. We've had that. That leads back to where we've just been. Oh, hello. Oh, we got a server room. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. 2,000 eddies. It's not so shabby. All right. Oh. Oh, I see what you... Oh, Cochrane, I see what you mean about the first floor. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's a bit of a... A bit of a security concern, wouldn't you say? We really should get someone to look at that. Right. Nothing of interest up here, by the looks of things. Ooh. Hello, maybe one or two bits that might be worth our uh, our time. Crafting spec for street smart. I'm not entirely sure what street smart is, but I think it might be something to do with um, enhanced uh, street cred gain, which is utterly useless to us at this stage in the game. Hi, hello. Um, you you are release. I hereby free you of your shackles. Or something. I don't know. Um, I should be saying something like epic and, and, and quite rousing here, but uh, no, not happening. Hi, hello, Bruce. You, Bruce? Is this a test? You have my pro. Wait. <laughs> You're not Militech. That's correct. What gave it away? The fact that I've got Militech blood all over me. Easy, Chum. Archie sent me. Archie? Archie Crane? The very same. But don't go jumping for joy. Got to get out of here. Archie knew who to send. <laughs> uh, yeah, Archie's going to be disappointed when he finds out I've slaughtered half of his mates. Sat here long enough. Let's shake that rust off. Don't have to tell me twice. Right, um, yeah, we can just kind of waltz our way out of here, I guess. la -dee da So, uh, yeah, follow me. I know the way. Does this thing raise? Oh, it does. Nice. <laughs> oh, we can't. That's disappointing. Got to actually pull the thing open by hand. I can't just hack it. Ugh. Very Neanderthal. Right. Um, come with me. Hop on in. I'll try not to get distracted like the last job. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You probably felt that, didn't you? So where are we headed? 350 meters? Wait, we might as well just go cross-country, hadn't we? Hold on to your butt! This is gonna be a fun ride! <laughs> AWAX zone? Hold on. AWAX? Um... Right, I'm slightly concerned. AWAX, isn't that something to do with, like, anti-personnel aircraft or something? We'll see. See if anything descend descends on us from the sky. Oh, hello. Ah, Archie! Hi, uh... Brucey baby! We're starting to think we'd never get you out of that dump. Archie, you piece of shit. <laughs> what? It's because of people like you that camp even exists. I saw you behind the wheel. How much they paying you, huh? Oh! Enough for me to buy your ticket out of here. 
You can thank me later. Right now, we gotta get moving. Oh, and V! If you ever plan on quitting Night City, careful around the borders. Accidents have a way of turning fatal. Oh, is that a thinly veiled threat, Archibald? Think it'd take more than you and your Militech goons to take me down. That's, uh, that's an impressive turning circle. I said no unnecessary bloodshed. Yeah, I... Did you forget? No, I didn't the forget. The job is done and shut. Sure, you saved Bruce, but you could have been quieter about it. I was perfectly quiet. Until next time. Those thumps of my electrified cattle prod striking the backs of skulls was, was carried out in perfect silence. Thank you very much, Dakota. I'll have you know. Calling into question my good name. Uh, that was the last contract uh, you'll see from me, V. Thank you for everything. I'm glad our paths crossed, and I hope they will again someday. Uh, I have a parting gift for you. It's already waiting for you in the garage. Take care of her and think of me when you get behind the wheel. Safe travels, V. Oh? Well, I'm intrigued. Collect your reward. Oh. Oh, literally in her garage. Huh. I thought she meant I could call it from uh, from my... Oh, no, hold on. Wait. Hold up. Oh, in my garage. All the way back at Mega Building H10 at the other end of the map. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks for that, Dakota. You're a star. Okay, guys, that is about all we got time for. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. And, um, yeah, next time we'll be, uh, we'll be getting on with... Well, I don't really know, actually. I suppose we could go and do a little bit more shopping. Uh, although, looking at the time, 6 p.m. in World. Hmm. I think by the time we make our way back up to Watson, take a little pink in... Uh, pink? <laughs> take a little peek in our garage at what uh, Dakota's left behind for us. It'll be pretty much time to go and head down to Riot and uh, meet up with Kerry. <laughs> oh, exciting times. Let's see what's in wait. Guys, thank you so much. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then uh, make those into a fancy little origami crane and place it down below in a provocative and uh, mysterious manner. And until next time, take care of yourselves and i'll catch you then bye bye